Exalt the Lord our God. Worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Got it? Exalt the Lord our God. Worship at his footstool. It's the place of worship. Holy is he. Verse 9. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. For the Lord our God is holy. You see the parallel there. Exalt the Lord our God. Worship at his footstool. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. Now, 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 now do you see Psalm 110 starting to get pretty exciting here? Okay, he says, you take, you take your place at my right hand until all of your enemies are made your footstool, my possession, my dwelling place, my place of worship. The, the feet, uh, under the feet of Christ, as the author of Hebrews says, putting everything in subjection under his, under Jesus' feet. You know, a lot of times I think we just, um, like John 3, 16, we all know that, for God so loved the world. He sent his son into the world, okay, right? So that everyone who believes on him would not perish but have everlasting life, amen. And then it's interesting, John 3, 17, okay, Jesus knows that we're, we probably just missed what he just said there, okay? And so he says, for the Son of Man didn't come into the world to condemn the world. He came into the world to save the world, okay? And so, so again, as we read Psalm 110 here, okay, we, we need to remember this. When God says, I'm going to take your enemies and I'm going to, I'm going to turn them into my footstool. God says, I'm going to take your and my enemies and I'm going to turn them into my friends. I'm going to turn them into my dwelling place. I'm going to turn them into the place where I am worshipped in spirit and in truth. 